Nemo 2019, we've dropped in to see Mark Jones from Lead Chuck, well, international, obviously. Yes. Orange Vice, you're well known for this product. A number of different um, vices here. People will know this one, a couple of new products. First of all, I want to cover this one. This is a dual station, you do a single station as well? Yeah, this is the classic Orange Vice that has become becoming very popular now in the UK and Ireland. Uh, and hopefully in Europe, that's why we're... Internationally. Over, yeah. Um, we, uh, yep, this is the dual station version. There is a single, there is a single station version that is not upgradable. That is a low cost entry level vice. Has all the great features that Orange Vice are well known for, but it, it, it will only remain a single station vice. Most of our customers invest in the dual station vice because it can be downgraded to a single station self-centering vice. And so, I mean, very successful the Orange Vice a number of reasons why that is? Um, I think uh, there are a number of reasons. One would be the, uh, the, the, the way that it's made, then the materials that it's made out of. Uh, people are, give us feedback, you know, and, and there's a lot of social media chatter about how great this vice has been. No chatter with the vice, though? No chatter with the vice, no, no. Um, Durabar, I understand, is that right? Durabar, uh, ground, no lift of the top, top tooling when, when clamping. We've got a quick change jaw facility that is incorporated in Orange Vice, uh, the Carve Smart system. And as well as that now, the standard top jaws uh, are, are come already machined to take what's called talon grip uh, for clamping purposes. Okay, so, so versatile, accurate, rigid, repeatable. Yeah, yeah all that. Um, what about warranty? Well, it has a lifetime warranty. So if any of the parts uh, fail, they will be replaced. That's a, that's a bold statement. Yeah, that, well, that's obviously the confidence that we have in, in the product. And I understand very easy to service, but, so that's your double station, you've got your single station, but two new products on the stand at Emo. Yeah. Now, this one, this does work with the double station. What's going on here? Okay, with this one, what we're doing, if you imagine the vice that we've just talked about, the regular classic vice, take off all the top tooling, and replace it with the Delta V uh, pallet system. So this will then enable a, a, a vice to not only be used as a vice, but be used as a pallet as well. Right. We can uh, tighten, it's a self-centering uh, action that clamps uh, a, pallet, a blank pallet that we supply and then the, the customer can produce the uh, profile himself for his own components. Okay, so essentially that, they can then just drop dowels in as an example. To yeah. Absolutely, yes. They will customise it for their workpiece so that so the vice doesn't have to be re removed from the machine, it can stay on the machine and become a pallet. So I just give it some, a great amount of flexibility on that side of things, but moving on from that, which is a great product there, you've now got five well, a vice for the five axis machine, or three plus two or five axis. Yes, Orange, again, this is the second product that, the, that is being launched here at Emo. Uh, it's not been seen outside of the States yet, until now. Uh, it's a sec it is a five-axis vice. It has one fixed jaw and one moving jaw. And the reason for that is that we feel that there's a place in the market for uh, improving the second operation machining. By having a f by on the first stop, if you're machining your datum into your workpiece, we can then put that up against the fixed jaw and have only have one moving jaw, thus halving any uh, in inaccuracy or, or halving any repeatability value. Okay, so with the standard self centering, both jaws are mo moving, yes. that could reduce accuracy. Yes, but where, whereas um, second up, when you know that you've machined a datum into it, put it up against a fixed jaw. Our fixed jaw can be put in many different positions along a serration. Um, so, so you would gauge exactly where to place it and then have the moving jaw just open and close to, to close on the component. Okay, now the jaws themselves, are, there's a couple of different types of jaws here as well. There are, yes. We're showing the uh, hard top jaw here for uh, uh, gripping uh, ri rigidly uh, on only three millimetres of uh, component depth as well as uh, an aluminium, a blank aluminium jaw that the customer would pro uh, machine his profile into. Right, so the serrated ones first up, then profile cutting for the second up? Can be, certainly, yes. The, uh, the, the, all of the jaws are removed very quickly by uh, un just undoing a, a grub screw 
uh, that, that enables you to lift the, lift the top jaw off. Right, so very quick and simple choose, as you expect with your orange fire system. Yep. Okay. Now, on here, so I'm presuming a zero point system, and, and what's this going on here? Okay, well, what we have here is a subplate that would typically be on a regular machine tool. Uh, onto which we'll put the uh, orange vices either directly or we can use a, a riser or a sub uh, to, to, to lift them to the position that they want to go. Um, underneath the vice, uh, as a way of uh, getting it in, in position quickly, we can, ha we, uh, we can uh, incorporate orange vice's own uh, ball system uh, for zero point, but equally they're, they're, it's offered with uh, that you can simply just bolt it bolt it down from the top or the uh, what's become the industry standard uh, four pin QC system with a 52 millimeter pitch. Right okay so your zero point system or if you haven't got that straight onto your machine bed. Yeah straight on but it will it will also uh, complete, be completely interchangeable with industry standard. That's fantastic so just to, just to reiterate dual station your delta to make that into a fixed string plate. Pallet yeah yeah and then your full five axis machining here? Yes. First and second on? Yes. And all with a lifetime warranty? All with a lifetime warranty, yes. Anything else you haven't covered off there, Mark? Um, no, I think you've got it all there. All we, 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 you know, all we want to do now is uh, find some customers to enjoy the new products, like you know, you, you've done plenty of visits to satisfy customers in the past, and uh, hopefully we'll find some more. Excellent, Mark, thank you very much, and good luck with your new products. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much.